Hey, Philip, this is Samantha from Feed Me Leads. We spoke on the phone earlier and I told you that I would send you over the screencast. And so here it is. I want to keep it really short and sweet. I just want to go through your site really quickly. I want to go through one of your competitor's sites really quickly. And then I'm actually going to give you three ways that you can use today for free to start bringing in some more traffic to your site. And so I send these screencasts out with all of this free info, but often when business owners see what I do, how I do it, and how much work is put into it, they decide that they want to team up. So if you watch this through and you feel the same, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. But without further ado, let's get into it. And so here I am on the craftsmanhomeremodeling.com homepage. And so it definitely looks like you guys spent some time or some money into making this look nice. It definitely does look nice. However, there is not a lot of content on here. And so Google is going to be ranking your site based off of around 200 different factors. One of those key factors is going to be content. You want to have at least 1,000 to 1,500 words minimum on this home page, and you guys currently have 273 words. So we definitely want to add in some more content. We also want to make sure that content is quality, educational content. Google is going to send out their bots to crawl through your site and read your content and determine whether or not it will help Google users find the information or the services that they're looking for. Also, in addition to having the appropriate amount of content, we want to make sure that content is filled with the appropriate amount of targeted, high volume, buyer intent keywords so that we can get you ranked for all of the right things. And so over here, I've hopped over to Google. The keyword I'll be using for today's video is mold remediation Rochester NY. This is a great keyword. It brings in 350 searches per month. So if you were to convert just a few of those into customers, you would be doing really well for just one keyword. And so beneath the search bar typically is where we are going to see Google ads. There are no Google ads popping up right now, but Google ads are a great way to get your name out there and build some brand recognition, especially while you are waiting for your SEO to warm up. However, if done incorrectly, you can definitely waste quite a bit of money on them. But if they are done right, you can get things moving a lot more quickly. And so beneath where the ads would typically be, but now here at the top, we have our Google Map Pack. This is a great place to be. Getting in one of these top three spots will get you right to the top of the first page. But in order to do that, you have to have a lot of citations. And so a citation is just when your business is listed on an online local directory. So think Yelp or think Yellow Pages or Yext. Those are all good examples of directories that people trust and use a lot. So you definitely want to be on more of those directories than these three businesses are right here. And so now I've scrolled down and I've made it to the organic search results. And so this should definitely be the primary area of focus. This is because you're going to get the best long-term return on investment. Google has come out and said that over 70% of people, when they type something into the search bar, they are going to click on one of these results right here, and they're almost always going to click on one towards the top of the first page. And so right here, this is the first company page that pops up for this keyword. And so I did a word counter search on them as well. They also have just under 300 words, so it would be extremely easy to beat them out content-wise. However, the main way that you're going to get up here along with the content is going to be through backlinks. And so a backlink is just a shout out from another website. You want to get these backlinks from high powered and relevant websites. So for example, if a local plumbing company were to give you a backlink from their site, that would be a really good way to bring your site some more power. So over here, I popped on to Arifs. Arifs is a great tool. If you ever try and do this on your own, bring this in house, I highly recommend using this tool. It is a little pricey. It costs me around $400 a month to use it, but it gives me a lot of great information. So right here, I typed in the competitor that we were just looking at, 
And it tells me they have 78 backlinks from 16 different domains and are ranking organically for 57 keywords. So I can take a look and see which keywords those are. And so we typically want to go for keywords that, have, that are location specific and have buyer's intent behind them. And so right here, it lists all the keywords, how many people search for that keyword every month, what position they hold for that keyword on Google and how much traffic they get from it. And so we can go through here and pick and choose which keywords match to with what you do, bring in the most volume, and we can incorporate those into the content for your site. And so now what I wanna do is I wanna go back and take a look at the backlinks the same way that I just took a look at their keywords. And so right now they only have 74 backlinks. And so that is a very easy number to beat, but we don't wanna just beat them out with the quantity. We need to make sure we beat them out with the quality of backlinks as well. So we can go through here and see which ones have a high DR domain rating, and we can snag the best ones for your site. And then we would have to go through all of your other competitor sites as well, get the best ones from there, and then find some on our own. And so they don't have very many backlinks, but also keep in mind that this is just one competitor for one keyword for one of the services that you provide. And I know that you guys provide a lot of different services, so we need to do quite a bit of research here. But before I wrap this up, I actually typed in your website into, into Arefs. And so right now you guys have a thousand backlinks from 78 different domains and are ranking organically for 222 keywords. And so you definitely have a lot more backlinks than them. So we would also wanna make sure that your backlinks are helping and actually not hurting your website. We need to make sure that they are quality backlinks and are relevant as well. But let's take a look and see which keywords you're ranking for right now. And so like I said, we're looking for location specific buyer intent keywords. And so right here, it seems like a lot of these keywords have craftsmen in them. So if someone wasn't already looking for your company, it would be harder for them to find you. Some of these are more national type keywords like attic mold remediation cost. We usually wanna go for buyer intent location specific ones. Like here you are going for mold remediation, Rochester NY, but you are not on the first page for that yet. So this gives you a good idea of which keywords you wanna focus on that you're already using and maybe what kind of keywords we can look to to add in. And so to recap, what we talked about is number one, we definitely wanna add in some more quality educational content with more buyer intent, high volume keywords. Number two, we wanna get some more citations to get you ranked on the map pack. And then number three, we want more relevant, high powered backlinks. And we also wanna make sure that those backlinks have the proper anchor text in those as well to get you ranked for the right keywords. But if you are interested in learning more about that or anything else that we talked about, you can email me back or you can give me a call. My number is 714-975-5909. So thank you for watching and I look forward to speaking with you.